Microsoft recently released Windows 10 security update that patches BitLocker vulnerability that allows attackers to access encrypted data. However, while attempting to install the update users report update fails to install. After system restart, the Windows update screen stating that an error occurred and to try again later. As per Microsoft support, this update requires 250 megabytes of free space in the recovery partition to install successfully. If the recovery partition does not have sufficient free space, this update will fail. Microsoft recommend manually resize your partition to install the WinRE update and then try installing this update. Let's first open the command prompt with administrator privileges. Type the command reagent slash info and press enter key to check if the WinRE is installed on your device. The information we are looking for is this one, which says global root device hard disk 0 partition 4 and then recovery and then WinRE. Next, we need to temporarily disable WinRE using the command reagent slash disable. Now to shrink the OS partition and prepare the disk for a new recovery partition, we need to run disk part command, then list disk. This will list all the disk on this computer. Here we have one disk and it's disk 0 that's the one you will need to select. If you have multiple disk make sure you select the one with recovery partition on it. Select the OS disk using command select disk 0. Run list part command to check the primary partition under the OS disk and find the OS partition. We have 4 partitions and partition 3 is the primary one. And we need to shrink this partition to make some space and use that for recovery partition. Let's select the partition 3 using command SEL part 3 which is our primary partition. Next we need to shrink that partition, to do this run command. Shrink desired equals 250 minimum equals 250 this will shrink the primary partition by 250 megabytes. You can copy and paste the command from Microsoft support site. Next we need to select partition 4 which is our recovery partition. To do this run command SEL part 4. Next we are going to delete the recovery partition, because we create a new one. So ensure you have selected the correct partition. To do this run command delete partition override. Now let's create a new recovery partition, to do this first, check if the disk partition style is a GUID partition table, GPT, or a master boot record, MBR, using command list disk. If there is an asterisk character, then the drive is GPT. Otherwise, the drive is MBR. I have GPT partition, so copy the command from Microsoft site and paste then enter to execute the command. If you have MBR partition you need to only run the command next to MBR display on your screen. Next we have to format that created partition, to format the partition, run command format quick fs equals ntfs label equals windows re tools. That's all, exit disk part now. Run reagent slash enable command to re-enable winre, and to confirm where winre is installed. That's all, close command prompt and try install the update again. In addition to this you can run Windows Update Troubleshooter to automatically diagnose and fix common update problems. It scans your system for issues and attempts to resolve them, making it an easy first step in troubleshooting update errors. Also over time, Windows Update components may become corrupted or misconfigured, leading to update errors. Resetting these components can often fix the problem. First open services and stop the Windows Update service. Now open File Explorer and navigate C driver then Windows folder followed by Software Distribution. Open Download folder and delete all content inside there.
Restart the Windows Update service and try install the update again. Sometimes corrupted system files are the reason behind Windows Update failures or error messages. Running the System File Checker SFC, and Deployment Image Servicing and Management DISM, commands can help repair these files and restore the integrity of your system. I hope this tips help fix Windows Update installation error on your computer. Thanks for watching.